Hi everyone, so good to connect with you right now. I'm in Rockville, Maryland, and I've been here just a little bit over a week. Last weekend was my birthday weekend, and I decided the day after my birthday, I was going to start my second juice feast. So I'm cur currently feasting right now, and I'm on day number eight, and I decided to do another week of juice feasting before I decide what I'm going to do. So cheers to all you juicers out there, if you're juicing. Um, I have my fabulous green juice here that actually I forgot yesterday when I was walking around Washington, D.C. So I'm really thankful to be able to drink it right now today. I took a walk down away from where I'm staying. It's only about a block away, this beautiful park that I'm sitting in right now. And there's wonderful trees in Rockville. It's like living in a city but then also being able to be immersed in nature which is really wonderful for my soul right now it feels really good to see trees and the other day i was taking a walk and i saw some baby fawn deer it was so cute oh and i'm really really loving it here um last week i just took really good care of myself on my first week of my juice feast i started to work on my yoga practice in a different way. It was it, My yoga practice is still very therapeutic. I'm still dealing with a little bit of sciatica and it's switching from my left to my right side daily and sometimes multiple times during the day. So I'm thinking I'm getting closer to solving the problem and I'm actually moving a lot better in my legs and my yoga practice is changing so I'm able to do a little bit more standing poses and it feels really good so i'm hoping that i'm kind of towards the end of this um this thing i've been dealing with in my own body uh, i'm really excited about my second juice feast my first juice feast was really about letting a lot go i was really detoxing the first week of my juice feast um, this time around was so different than the first time i was able to stay pretty clear the whole week. I didn't have a lot of physical symptoms. I was tired a lot, but I wasn't. Um, I I wasn't as challenged in feeling spacey. Uh, maybe a little bit unbalanced. I think I've been feeling a little bit more nause nauseous than the first time around. Um, motion sickness. I get a little bit motion sickness, especially when we took the train yesterday. But overall, I've been doing really, really, really well, and I'm loving the results of it, just feeling clear in my head, um, loving that I'm feeling better in my body, and um, it's just, it's been a good experience all around. So that's been really awesome. I'm hoping that this week I will continue those results and I'm starting to get a little bit more organized in myself, in my mind, after some healing last week, and that feels really good too. So I have some goals for myself this week, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to achieve them and get on track with some, some of those goals. So it's been a really great experience just being here in Rockville, it's kind of been like a little retreat for myself. My friend is so laid back and easygoing, and we've been doing a lot of girl things together. On my birthday, we went out and saw a movie, and she treated me to dinner, and I was able to get a pedicure, which was really well needed after camping for a month or so. Um, my feet were just not happy with me. so. I'm really doing well and I really am falling into this place where I'm missing Chicago a lot. I'm missing you and um, I think that's okay. I think that's very, I mean I've been missing you all along the way but there's a different sense of longing for home right now and I feel like I need to stay strong in my goals for myself and know that these things are going to be coming up no matter what. So thank you so much for following me and I'm really grateful for this opportunity and this time and this 
ability to share my journey with you. It's just a really big blessing to hear from you and know that you're supporting me in this. So thank you so much. And I hope that all of you are doing well and enjoying your summers. And I can't wait to see you again and share yoga with you again. And if you're interested in juicing, sharing information about that as well. So cheers to everyone and namaste everyone. Namaste.